is a central bank digital currency, CBDC, just like your cash, but somehow more convenient or efficient? What if your digital dollars came with a catch? A new poll reveals what Americans think of this potential money of the future. Coming up next. Previously on Silver Heist. To see more, please subscribe. Welcome to Silver Heist. Thank you to our returning subscribers and guests. In today's video, I will be sharing some important data on Americans' opinions on central bank digital currency, or a CBDC. This was a recent poll of over 2,000 Americans conducted by the Cato Institute, and the answers may surprise you. The value of a dollar may be decreasing, but is that the fault of the banks, or that dollars are made of paper or cotton linen? Will making a dollar digital make it more sound? Now, if you like to hold your wealth in tangible assets, Atmex is a trusted online bullion dealer that buys silver and gold coins directly from the U.S. Mint. Link in the description below. Let's take a look at central bank digital currencies, like who produces them? What are the benefits? What are the risks? And what if digital sounds modern, high-tech, but what if it comes with a catch? I've been re-watching one of my favorite old TV shows, Hill Street Blues, a show ahead of its time. And at the end of this video, I will share what the sergeant had to say about digital dollars back in 1981. Now, which banking financial services do you use and how does that compare to your fellow Americans? Which of the following financial products do you currently own or use or have you owned or used in the previous 12 months? Check an account leads the way at 83%, debit card 74%, savings account 70%, credit card 68%, and then 401k or other employer sponsored retirement account 25%, and then everything else less and less and less. So one question to ask, do we really need a central bank digital currency? Are people unhappy with their banks? How satisfied are you with your bank? A combination of very satisfied or somewhat satisfied, 89%, and then the sum of somewhat unsatisfied or very unsatisfied was only 7%. So even if people don't like banks in general, they do like their bank. And since a central bank digital currency would actually come from the Federal Reserve, the central bank of the United States, how familiar are you with the Federal Reserve? The sum of extremely familiar, very familiar, or somewhat familiar, 69%, and the combination of not very familiar or never heard of it, 31%. And then do you have a favorable or unfavorable opinion of the Federal Reserve? Combination of very favorable or somewhat favorable, 40%. Combination of somewhat unfavorable or very unfavorable, less at 25%. And then no opinion of it at all, 35%. And then who would you trust to handle your money appropriately? The federal government at 21%. Or a private commercial bank at 79%. And then who would you trust with access to your personal spending data? 19% the federal government, 81% a private commercial bank, or not listed, none of the above. All right, so this is a very important table. Would you support or oppose the federal government issuing a central bank digital currency if it meant government could control what people spend their money on and when 74% oppose that, the government abolished all U.S. cash so no one could use dollar bills, 68% oppose that, and then if a CBDC, if it meant that it attracted cyber attacks by accumulating large amounts of personal financial data into one database, 65% opposed that. And if it meant that the government would be able to see everything you purchased with the digital currency, 68% opposed that. 
or if the Federal Reserve could charge a tax on Americans who do not spend money during recession, 64% oppose that, or if the government could freeze the digital bank accounts of political protesters, well, 59% oppose that, or if it meant that many people stopped using private banks, causing some banks to go out of business, well, 52% oppose that, and if it meant that it would make instantaneous transactions possible, 27 supported that while 32% opposed it. Or if it meant that it would be easier for people without bank accounts, smartphones, or internet to gain equitable access to the banking system, well, 33% supported that while 34 opposed it. Or if it helped the Federal Reserve combat economic recessions, well, it was evenly split 32% support, 31% oppose. But if the government could ensure welfare payments were spent on their intended purpose, such as to buy food, well, 40% supported that, while 31% opposed. And if it helped reduce the risk of money laundering and fraud, 42% supported that, while 28% opposed it. Another question dealt with which of the following potential outcomes would concern you most regarding a central bank digital currency? Please select up to three. Number one concern at 66%, government control of how Americans spend their money. 63%, government monitoring of what people buy. 47%, government censorship. 37%, abolishing cash. And then to a lesser degree, crowding out private banks, disrupting monetary policy, or other or none of these. How concerned are you that the government could use a central bank digital currency to monitor American spending? The sum of very concerned or somewhat concerned, a staggering 87%, while the sum of not very concerned or not concerned at all, a meager 13%. As people learn more, what do they think? Which of these statements comes closer to your own view? Government should issue a central bank digital currency because it would reduce financial crime and other illegal activity and would increase access to the financial system, 24%, but more overwhelmingly at 76%, government should not issue a central bank digital currency because it would potentially allow the government to monitor what people buy and potentially control how they spend their money. It's important to note that a CBDC could be introduced that it might not have on day one the bad features, but there's nothing to stop the power to introduce a catch later once people get used to the new system. Digital dollars, are they the future of money? Is there a benefit? Or are they not worth the risk? Watch as I attempt to take possession of this $100 bill without the catch. That's it, let's roll. Hey, let's be careful on it. Let us know in the comments below if you look forward to the benefits of a CBDC or if you think that they are not worth the risk. Please give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.